10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. This is an exciting podcast because it's the first one with the new soundboard. Uh, um, <laughs> and it might be the last. Who knows? You know, <laughs> like we'll see how Paul does. <laughs> Uh, yeah, making use of the 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 iPad provided by <laughs> provided by the state of Oregon or where did you get your student loan from? The country of America. Joe Biden. The country. Joe Biden. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks, <laughs> Joe. Thanks, Brandon. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be uh, soundboard heavy um, in the first few minutes. Yeah, I think we're just so gonna too. goof around with the soundboard a lot. Yeah, yeah it. I mean, it's pretty low on my headphones, but that's okay. I hate when it's too loud, so probably turn up the volume on the on this a little bit. Now try it. Let's well, see. I think you turned it down. Did I? Yeah, this is turning. Oh, that's down. This is up. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. Now they're getting a chance at okay all, all of the all of the things while Nick is making our drinks. I love that he's like we're like really rushing him right now. Uh, but it's casual, dude. You're wearing the pants I got you. Awesome. That's that's, dude. You're wearing the hat I got you. Oh yeah. <laughs> this fit brought to you by Bjorn and Paul's relationship. <laughs> so I guess we could we could maybe I don't know I don't want to fully get started into it, but uh, start getting into it. Getting into it. Yeah. Um, we I'm really proud of us because yesterday. We did almost nothing all day. Nice. Yeah. We haven't uh, we haven't done that yet. Get the. We also are gonna get a bunch of sound bites from this episode that I'll put into the soundboard. Yeah. Well, should I officially just start it off? Yeah, let's, let's just start it. it. Let's get okay. it going. Okay. Well, welcome to uh, the first uh, recorded episode in 2023 of Size Ten mm. Podcast. Uh, before uh, you do anything else, please stop uh, to. Like, subscribe, follow, comment, anything. Um, it all is all really helpful, and really, we really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, if you will, if that's still the phrase. Yeah, I think t- tuning in. Yeah, like <laughs> like people are coming in just now. It's like, yeah. okay, now that you're with hey, us. if you're just getting here. You're just getting here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy is like going and watching TV again and like starting a movie partway through or like not – I was thinking about it like our kids are never they're going to be like confused like at a hotel room like what we can't just how do you start the movie at the beginning or how do you start the series at the first episode because now whenever I see a series like on TV I'm like well I'm not going to what am I going to just jump into the middle of this it's unless it's like I don't know a procedural that I know is just standalone just me okay I do like that. I'm just going to, I guess I'll just keep yeah, talking to myself. Like the, the yeah. Right let's now. be like the Bill Burr's podcast. Uh, yeah. Maybe. What, what was that? <laughs> I like it. Ooh, baby. Ooh, yeah. Look at this with a garnish. Oh, we got to snap pictures before we take a, take a drink. Oh, right. Pictures? Yeah. Oh. Let's get some pics. Okay. Paul swing over there. Get some pics. Sure. This is, you know what? This is behind the, behind the curtain. Is what this episode is going to be called. Behind the curtain. See how the magic. See how the magic happens. This is. You know what? The process is the podcast. That's what I heard at some point. Yeah, we're really letting them into the artistry. (laughs) The artistry. That is behind (laughs) the content that we create as content creating creators. Paul, can you also take those shoes and just put them here? Yeah. Because we're real creative type creators. And so when we create the process yeah. itself, yeah, is content. It is the that's that's what I'm taking into 2023. That the process is the something like that. Something annoying. Yeah. Oh. Two, uh, cheers. Here. Yeah. Oh, the one for me. Yeah. Oh man, I'm look, excited, dude. Look this yummy. looks so good. We're, wow. We're like really stepping into <laughs> 23. Is it the year of Jordan? Ooh, that tastes like a lime. Damn, dude, that's puckery. I like it. And sugar, it's like a sweet lime. I like it. I it's can't like, taste the gin. It's almost like a gin, which is good because I don't like gin. Yeah, I it's, just knew we had it here, so I was like, "What's a gin cocktail?" And I was like, "Gimlet." That's a nice sound, and that mm. sounds fancy. I love gin. 
I like. Yeah, Dan Joanna well. was saying she's like shout out to Bjorn, his medical condition for really <laughs> classing up you guys' <laughs> podcast. <laughs> you said just be sitting around drinking beers. He's like, now you're drinking cocktails. <laughs> now we're doing a cocktail. How fancy. Which I should probably have you send me, and we'll start put. I'll start putting that in the description. Oh, like of the, the recipe. For I the think cocktail? we should. Why yeah, not? Yeah, dude? why not? That's fine. I, I should go back through and put it in the other one, the yeah. old ones too, because that would be like a cool little like, like Easter egg. Yeah. Dude, yeah, like if you follow us, you'll also our, know how to make basic cocktails yeah, you could our, Google. Our, our podcast is going to be like me when I like look up a recipe and get really pissed off. So you know how there's just a bunch of bullshit? It's like, just tell me Literally, how much is in this. Who, who are these people? I have to scroll people? for it. Like, well, you know there's a <laughs> skip to recipe button at the beginning of all of those? But I like to be mad. <laughs> I like to get mad. I didn't know that. There is. So <laughs> now yeah, I'm even more next, mad. Yeah, no, these people wasted your, you wasted your own time. You read a, a lot of words, but not the ones that mattered. Right, where they're just like... Where th there's literally a button that says skip to recipe. Oh. That doesn't actually look like that good of a review for my cocktail. No, I mean, it's good. No, dude, it's good. It does good. taste like... But it I reminds me of the, the lime Rizzo that you can get at Neighbor's Tap Room right now. It tastes a lot like a lime, Yeah. because mostly that's what it is. Yeah. Mm. It's literally... Equal parts of gin and lime juice with a teaspoon of sugar. I'm just drinking fast to take the edge off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to talk about that. Yeah. So you guys, is this a New Year's resolution? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what else. Let's call it. <laughs> Let's call it uh, that. A New Year's health quest. Health quest. A health it's quest. a health quest. Fuck health your quest. resolutions. This is a health. I'm quest. on a quest. <laughs> you had to make. You had to make resolutions somehow even nerdier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a quest. It's a quest. It's a side we quest. wear capes. <laughs> yeah, we were. <work. laughs> we dress you get different. experience points for it or some yeah. bullshit. Yes. Yeah, we're leveling and up we our level, life. Level up our life. Okay. <laughs> so what? But in what actually, way are you leveling well, up no, your we're, life? We're, we're removing something so that we can add skill points to other areas, yeah. like yeah, walking. like years <laughs> at the like, end. Like, years. Of <laughs> like there's a spell extra on lives, us, like a confusion spell. <laughs> yeah. So we're talking about nicotine. <laughs> so you guys, you guys cut out nicotine. Yep. Yeah. We both. And what? Quit. In what context did you guys consume nicotine? Because I've never seen you guys like smoking cigarettes. Um. So, Paul, do you want to go first? Yes. Uh, needles. 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 You no. were <laughs> shooting up nicotine. I was shooting up nickel. You got nicotine. you. You got jewel yeah. liquid, and then you put <laughs> in the needle, and you're just like, oh yeah, yeah oh dude. yeah, baby. <laughs> um, no, I'm just smoking. So, um, okay, so I've I've been smoking on and off cigarettes for mm. ten plus years. And then uh, started doing um, vaping probably about a year ago, mm. maybe about a year and a half ago when we first got together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah. In fact, uh, he he asked me like on one day. He's like, "Do you smoke?" On like a second, on our second. Yeah. Day. And I was like, "God damn it! I thought I was doing a good job <laughs> of hiding it." But um, yeah, no, I just started vaping, and and that just became way more than smoking because mm. I can vape anywhere yeah because you can just kind of it's pretty discreet like yeah. you kind of do it indoors sometimes yeah i've done it in the studio here when nobody, <laughs> <laughs> nobody's to looking. be honest I've, I've done it in church no. <laughs> <laughs> The but best is when like we'll be like waiting for the elevator in the hallway and Paul will just take a big old puff and I'll look at him like wide eyed like buddy what are you doing? I don't and then know. He's like, ah. <laughs> Oops! It smells like vanilla. Just Who gives a fuck? <laughs> no. Well, he did like the Virginia tobacco one. Mm. Yeah, um, not the sweet stuff. Oh, so okay, you, he yeah. was You're doing going hard. Going hard. Yeah. He was doing that. We've talked about how I used to chew. Well, yeah. I started buying like randomly. I don't even know why I bought it. Probably for us to. I was going to try to have you make or make you do it or something. I started. Uh, I don't know what doing you would those call pouches. It. Yeah, the like ZYN. Oh, pouches. where it's like nicotine, but without without tobacco. Yeah. It's just little nicotine pouches. Okay. And I would do the, the weaker ones. The threes is what I was doing. Threes but lead to the fives. Dude. And the my, fives lead to the sevens. Well, there's the sixes. There's threes and sixes. And five and it seven was right just the six. thing that was in my car <laughs> that occasionally I would do. It mm -hmm. was. Ah, so when you were in your RAV4, you were like, man, I need to concentrate. I well, to navigate just, this hybrid dude, this where I need to go. Dude, this just made me feel good. I don't know. It made me feel good. And I like doing it. And... I think I'm not, this is not blaming, but like he was doing the, Feels those. Like it. it does feel a little like blaming. And I, I kind of used it as a justification to do it mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Like 
and that was like the no offense dude but. yeah it was just <laughs> so the reason i decided to stop is because it was like slowly creeping into a regular thing for me mm, so you were like okay and in the last few weeks <clears throat> i've been like like a can of it mm-hmm. like two a week and that was when i was oh like, yeah no that's all uh, right that's this when is you, you genuinely genuine problem have a habit, yeah like i'm bring i'm no longer just keeping it in the car i'm bringing it into the office with me i'm ha- i'm keeping it in my pocket and just popping them in like just yeah once you just kind of going once all you start day. seeing the ring in your pocket it's yeah, like right? yeah you, you see the ring in the jeans again it's like mm-mm, bjorn yeah and you're not even if you were in the raw spinning, denim i wasn't spitting it anymore i started off spitting it and then i just now you just I'm started just gutting it i don't know if that's bad or whatever no i but, think that you instantly went like full savage on that shit. just because that's like i feel like gutting it is like dudes that have been chewing tobacco that they grew on their family farm uh, in kentucky mm-hmm. since they were like <clears> eight those are the guys that buy it in a rope and take a yeah, bite. Take, or like a big Yeah, girl. that's like, like hardcore motherfuckers. <laughs> They're probably bad people. Dude, I used, like, to, I used to, when I, yeah, when I used it's to not chew regularly, I would, I would get that pack of Red Man. <laughs> it's just <laughs> like stems. And, it's like a bag of stems and leaves that are just like gooey. And you just, there's no way. You take a bite, no, right? And then just I mean, put it in your cheek. No, it's like, it's like a whole bunch of like leaves and oh. there's no way to do it in a small amount though like even just grabbing one stem and like and like rolling it you're still just like it's your whole cheek it's so gnarly and i used to do it just because i thought it was ridiculous and i well you were correct and it was yeah uh, no, and that's, that's i would go to parties is. and and, and With offer a giant, it to people giant chunk of red man in there and, dude and it was like three dollars for a pack of it that should have been the first song. Pack of red man that's kind of the uh that's like the uh, what is that? That's like the the Colt forty five, or the fucking Steel Reserve of tobacco. It kind of is. Oh yeah, it is the Steel, <laughs> it's reserve, the steel of reserve of tobacco. A big amount for a not a big <laughs> amount of much. money. Oh man, and it'll and it it'll ruin your day. So I'll describe like the last couple of days. Like yeah. I actually quit. I'm realizing now. I think I might be on the other side of it, and he's not because I decided I just wasn't gonna buy anymore, and I ran out sooner than heat i think you went and got one more right uh-huh. you got one yeah. more <laughs> i was like i gotta get through friday <laughs> i gotta get through this friday yeah get through the through the new Cause, year because i was like new year's i'm gonna mm-hmm. do it but then I, then it only lasted me through friday <laughs> so then i was like God, I, I don't want to buy more so saturday i was just like all right oh no i'm on day three now you're on day three. Oh, okay. so what have what has been your experience so far yeah <laughs> let's talk about it oh man paul um well, how many people did I you just fire want to today? Cry. <laughs> you fired some people? No, no. Oh. Well, I did walk into my office and I was like, um, I don't mean to be a bitch or anything, guys, <laughs> but I'm quitting cigarette or tobacco, so mm-hmm. I might get a little snappy. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. And I had to say that because, like, right away, first thing, I get back into the office. It's Monday. And of course, like, I forget, somebody's starting to give me a rundown of what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, and I instantly was like, you, you know that sound from a Kill Bill? Like, rrr, 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 <laughs> yeah. <rrr." laughs> I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and it was nothing. It was nothing of consequence. It was something that I would have loved to hear any other day. Um, it was from Terry. Love you, Terry. Mm. Uh, but I instantly was like, oh, I need to address the elephant in the room right now. <laughs> and I was like, I am going to just be off, off the, yeah. uh, off my normal game. So. And they they were all very okay with it, and they're they're everybody's been really supportive, mm-hmm. you know. Like, well, a, it's an excellent. Well, choice I'm to I'm make. a real hero. You are. <laughs> I'm the hero, if anything. Like today yeah. is his nine eleven. <laughs> today is like yeah, like I am a fireman. <laughs> what the, the third day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Day the third three. day. Yes. I would say like if you hadn't done this, then like sooner than than now since you have would have actually been your 9-11, like where you died early. <laughs> okay, yes. Yes. So <laughs> what does that make me then? <laughs> um, A wife of a... I'm a 9-11 survivor. Yeah, you're a survivor. I'm a survivor. <laughs> you're a survivor, I'm a Paul. survivor, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of the it's things so that I find <laughs> yeah, fascinating about, about this, it, this whole process for me has just been like how easily I just like slowly... Like I'm all about like building good habits. Like I'm obsessed. Uh-huh. And it's amazing how a bad habit just kind of creeped into my life in this way that I I don't know how it happened. It just started with like every time I went to lunch, I would have one. 
Yeah, that's then it was it every time I got in the car, and then it started to just be like while I'm awake. That's <laughs> what yeah. happened. Huh? For me, I'm not. I'm not good. I'm. I personally am an all or nothing guy. I'm terrible with. Uh, yeah. With like um, you have a little bit more of an addictive personality. Like you can't really. You're not good at just like moderation. Doing a little bit. Yeah, yeah. you're not good at. Bjorn's moderating. not good with moderation. That's fair. Uh, in it, a lot of things. Yeah, and I have an oral fixation. So, mm. well, what did we? Do you have your little thing that I got? Did um, you leave it in the oh, car? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get Paul a fake vape. I did. Yeah, it's um, it's basically. Let's like, talk about it. So this um, so he got this for me for my birthday. Okay. And I thought it was a really great idea. So basically, it's called Fum F U M Fum. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it's just um a little. It's kind of like a. Uh, it's wet, so you put it in there. It's like like kind of a, uh, like an, a wet air freshener, if you will. Okay. And then you close it up, and you have a little uh, opening here. You can open and close, and okay. then you. You should try it. There's no. And it's there's nothing. It's nothing. It literally. It's literally nothing. just flavor. It's literally sucking on a wet air freshener. And try it. Okay. It, it, it just is like. And you just breathe in. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there's no smoke out or vapor yeah. or anything. It's just—is like, it just peppermint? Yeah, is that like a peppermint essential oil? And, there, and there's different, yeah, it's mm-hmm. essential oils and, oh. and there's different flavors. But when he gave it to me, I think I I I didn't give him the reaction I think he was looking for. It's okay because it was my birthday gift, and I was like, oh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a this? like I don't know. It was like a, it was like, so thoughtful. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's like he but it was too thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where you're like. Uh, no, no, it wasn't thought. It was like it sort of like was nudging. A little oh, bit, it was a little I bit think. like, hey, you yeah. gotta. You it's gotta. like he, it's like like getting somebody a mini trampoline and some one pound weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like getting like, them a yeah. bow flex. Like getting me a bow flex. <laughs> Where you're like, it's like I what know you, you asked <laughs> for new pants, <laughs> but, but you some... already have a lot of pants. <laughs> 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 Someone needs to tell me that I can't fit into a lot of my pants. Yeah. I really got to get it nope. like together. Like you got to go bigger. No, like I gotta stop eating so much oh. fucking food and fit back. In We're my not pants. the right people, cause yeah. like the other, th- you know what we did this weekend? We edited same our same bullshit. I did. Editor- ate a bunch of fucking food. No, oh. we, well maybe <laughs> uh, uh, a little bit. Uh, no, dude, we we edited our closets. Oh, so like we went through and like I was just trying shit on. It didn't fit. Paul would be like, "All right, goes in the pile," and we got rid of like three trash bags full of. Uh, like the big leaf trash bags. Mm. <laughs> Full. You guys just hooked a Goodwill up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. Um, well, we were going to bring it to a shelter, but they were all closed on Sunday. So, mm. Well, um, you gave it your all. You yeah, really tried hard to help. Well, <laughs> it's one of those things where it's just like, it's either going to sit in my car for and days. Potentially get broken into. Mm. And I'm not. And I didn't really want to. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Mm, no, I'm good. Um, but it's, yeah, so I we, would guess some we went goodwill through. donations end up at shelters anyway, because goodwill I feel like sometimes can't take all that they get. Yeah, I mean, and dude, there was like snowboard gear in there. Oh, or like like coats PS5s. and fives. Oh, uh, nice. PS five. <laughs> we popped a PS five in there. A ninja. Just no, there one was of a... your many PS fives. Yeah. Paul Wait, do you guys have a PS five? No, oh, yeah. just oh, okay. two fours. So I we feel have like a PS8. They're, they're easy no, to get now, right? Like the PS5 <laughs> oh, yeah, you is can like. get them at Fred Meyer. Dude, now. we saw. Yeah. yeah, we were in Fred Meyer. We we're like, and it said available right now. And they like said it did say that they had them. You yeah. can get them. Yeah, I think at this point, like the whole frenzy is way over. Yeah. <laughs> it just took a year and a half. <laughs> That's fair. That's not that long. It's weird. It's still weird to me, though, because like I was, I was seeing, I saw some data. This might be a little bit of fake news, but I saw something where they were just like overwhelming they didn't have enough people and uh, not enough people actually like active users on ps5s mm. so they were realizing it's like your game is going to tank if you don't have it also available like you had to support the ps4 you version kind of did with a lot of these new well, releases yeah, that mean, they were not expecting to have to do because they thought everyone was going to like a lot of people were well, going to upgrade wasn't the whole ps5 thing part of the big chip thing like they didn't have enough chips for anything. Yeah. PS5s, I'm pretty sure that was one cars, was. whatever it yeah. was, anything that needed semiconductors because of the the whole whatever it was, boats couldn't float or something because of COVID. Yeah. The boats had COVID. <laughs> boats couldn't. I think float. the boats got no, COVID. No, dude. Yeah. Boats were no. The boat thing was a boat got stuck in the no. It in was. The canal. I think what it actually was is the ports 
didn't have enough people or something. To unload and everything. so there were giant lines of shit of like ships full of stuff that were just sitting in the ocean for like a month or two waiting to unload shit. The, yeah, that was a or thing. like it was a lot of stuff. Or like you know, as the COVID things were rolling through, like there would be a shutdown in like China or whatever where they yeah. made some of the shit. And so then that would last for like three months and then there was nothing, then everybody was playing catch up. Yes, that's what happened to me because yeah. I had I had underwear in China mm-hmm. sitting on a dock mm-hmm. for a while because I have a tracking number. Oh, and then it that sat can, in the I ocean. I can look for at where while, it is. Right? Then it was in the ocean. No, it was it in the ocean. It it made it across real fast, mm-hmm. and then no, like, and I then have it... the manifest, mm-hmm. and uh, like so I can see the ship, and it's like yeah. literally, it's like, dude, it's been sitting for a week down in California, like, well, like, yeah, like in the, the bay. The ships just had to. <laughs> anchor up out there right mm-hmm. until the a dock opened up it was like and every like day i docks, would check it i had the ship number and you the docks were like it. super backed up right yeah that was yeah i mean it's just like you're it's like you're tracking your domino's pizza yeah. except it's thousands of dollars exactly of, it's just a like a domino's pizza <laughs> did you get the to pick did you get chain? to pick your own theme <laughs> no the you see this is domino's? the thing we just solved the whole supply chain in like two minutes it's just like a domino's <laughs> pizza yeah. and well, these people are how are there so many dogs dude the crazy the crazy thing is unbelievable is like, these with, people need with, to listen to our podcast yeah. the crazy thing they thing listen that, to this there'd be no problems mm-hmm. is like <laughs> There's more urgency with like a Domino's pizza because they don't want to deal with like a fucking Karen because there's no, not enough Karens there's food that work and people need food. <laughs> and they're to angry. Eat, to live. <laughs> they don't deliver Domino's on the water. No. Do they? Is is I like? I bet you there's a Domino's. Is there like a Domino's, a Domino's in Venice boat? and they just cruise around there's a little? Gotta like, be. Or they like, got a little like Zodiac boat. Or like if there's a lake town like you know Tahoe or something. Mm. And there's Ooh, a Domino's yeah. over here and. Yeah, like there. probably some of those towns in Florida. You know how Florida they oh, yeah. made all those like fake. Yeah. yeah, there's like it's just water, and then they just built up weird like yeah. fake pieces of land for I bet, people. I bet you they got to some have dominoes. Waterfront property in the swamp. In canals, can- canals, can- canals, canals, canals. Oh. Yeah, canals, canals. <laughs> Dude, I was uh, so you said you went skiing this weekend and didn't invite I us, did. which is fine because we were busy editing our clothes and doing nothing. I'm uh, like, well, not nothing. We we went to brunch with uh, Eliza for her birthday, and nice. then we went home and just watched movies for the rest of the night, the day. That I mean, we went. Fun. It was like it was like eleven o'clock. We started watching movies. Yeah, to be honest, that sounds pretty awesome. Um, and we had it was not great. I have not. That's done basically that what Joanna stopped. and I did, except for the skiing. Yeah. And the, yeah. we we looked at a couple more houses, but other than that, we just kind of sat around and dude ate food. We needed food. we needed that so bad, <laughs> like because we yeah. had just been going, 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 uh, like nonstop. Like yeah, seriously so would, nonstop. So would I. So would both of us. Like because <laughs> like last weekend we both had family in town. We had the big We're Christmas like, fucking thing, and it was just like yeah. it's great to see my family, great to see people. But then it's like okay, I gotta fucking chill out, dude. Well, because we went up to Seattle. And then like, and then also like I've been, uh, I don't have an employee anymore. So mm. I've been doing all of our orders and we had like, we did a crazy month. Like we were trying to like, a lot we of did, people got underwear for we Christmas. Did, we did a lot more than mm. I was expecting, nice. which is a great thing to happen. Yeah. But the thing about that is then I had to fulfill all that. And uh, I've just been going, going, going nonstop and it was really nice to just have a full day to just kind of like be lazy and Mm. not sick also, (laughs) you know, like be healthy and lazy for like one day. Oh yeah. Cause you guys got sick like a couple months ago. And so you were lazy, but you were just like, yeah, but it really, it almost like doesn't count because it's like, but I don't know. Yeah. It's like lazy, but the, as like an assignment. Yeah. 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 It's like you have to be lazy. <laughs> you, you, yeah, I was assigned assignments lazy. to find the most comfortable <laughs> position to sleep in. Yeah. Not feeling well, like throwing up. Well, yeah. Your body recovers. <laughs> yeah. It's just so like which nice. which position will help half of your nose be breathable. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this because it's like Yo. I don't I don't know if this is interesting or not. I hope it is. Uh, I realized because we went skiing mm-hmm. and I went with my family and my mom was talking about how good I was at skiing, which was like, thank you, mom. Mm-hmm. I love that. But I realized it made me realize like I have this like weird skill mm-hmm. that's just there. It's just there. I never use it mm-hmm. ever. I uh, like. Once a year, I go skiing. Yeah, and I use it, and I'm just like, "What the? F- 
You like, know what? I relate to that super hard co- from yesterday. Okay. Because yesterday was Joanna's third ever time skiing. Yeah. I'm awesome at skiing. Not quite as good as you, but like Thank pretty you. fucking <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Like, spe- I mean, like I can pick it right back up and I just use my edges and ski like the way you're supposed to. Like we can both, uh, like, let's not get it twisted. We can both like ski down every. Yeah. If a lift can go to it, we can get down. <laughs> Probably. That's basically what if, it is. And if the conditions aren't just like bananas ice. If it's on... not literal solid ice. <laughs> literal when, solid where ice it's, like, with a double where black it's diamond. Just a death sentence for anybody. Like, yeah, if it's reasonable snow and the lift can get to it, yeah. then I can get back I down. I can it. probably get down I it. I could stumble my way down most shit. It's it's one of those things, too. It's because, like, I think growing up in a ski town, the the barometer for, like, mm-hmm. what an average skier is, like, an average skier that grows up in a ski town. Yeah, or, like, for me, it was, like, going to college in Bozeman. Yeah. Like, the average skier at Bridger is... Probably actually about me. Yeah. If you take all the people that suck and then all the people who are just maniacs, you probably end up somewhere around me to you. But is an average skier? I think the part that's giving this this whole thought process mm-hmm. to me is because Paul's so new at skiing. Yeah. And I'm just kind of like, it's like, I mean, it's I'm glad that he's doing it and mm-hmm. I appreciate that he's doing it. But at the same time, it's just kind of like. Is this something that's really going to like enrich our and lives? I'm terrible at it. <laughs> or possibly I'm terrible at it. Or possibly like get him injured, you know? Like so I don't mm. want to push him too hard. So it's like maybe I should push him at something else like bowling. <laughs> like <laughs> that we do on a more regular basis. Yeah, yeah, while you're over there just making all of Paul's <laughs> life decisions for yeah. Him. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pick out your hobbies, Paul. Well, no, but but, the, but for around. real I'm though, sorry. when you're older, yeah. you're kind of like you don't have that much time cuz you're By the way, all Paul, the you're old. <laughs> I know when you're when you're outside when you're in like <laughs> I'm just trying to <laughs> um, I just I'm feel like Bjorn I old. feel like you're digging a hole or I can make it so that you're digging a okay hole. cool cool I'm just well, I'm just trying to I guess turn what Paul I'm trying to say you. is it's like I know he's Briefly. he's he's going for it and he's yeah. trying and I really appreciate that mm-hmm. but at the same time I'm kind of like maybe we should just focus on golf and bowling you know I don't think so no no, and and here's why. But first of all, I relate to that because like to feeling weird about my skiing skill, because I don't know how to tell Joanna how to ski good. No, I couldn't teach like, him how to ski. I could teach you how to yeah. snowboard. I can't teach my how buddy, to ski. my buddy Matthew, who's a listener. Shout out. Anyway, um, Matthew and his wife came with us yesterday. Okay, and Matthew was able. He he'd done some teaching of other things. Like he's a good teacher. Mm-hmm. Like he taught violin back in the day. And so he was able to give her better instruction than I could on like getting down. Like we did the bunny hill for quite a while. And then I did a couple of laps while Joanna practiced on the bunny hill. And then we went up the lift, ski bowl, just to the little warming hut. And then it's like ski bowl is not, ski bowl is like no. a zero to like a four. Yeah. There's no one or two or three. Yeah. And so like even the easiest shit there. There's a couple spots where she just was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm going to walk. And I was like, yeah, it's probably a good call. And then we once it even back out or like gentled back out, then she could kind of stumble her way down. But it's like, I'm going to get her a lesson for next week. And it just sucked because I was like, I felt bad because I was like, I know what she should be doing, but I don't mm-hmm. know how to tell her how to do it. Yeah. You know? And so it was like, I've got this skill, but it, in the moment, it was like the most useless shit ever. It's like... I could show off how fast I can <laughs> I, go, it, it, it's, but it's a little bit like, wow, like, you're so fast, well, I think, but I'm afraid. I think the challenge afraid. for me was I'm, I'm a pretty yeah. smart guy, so mm-hmm. when people are telling me how to do things, in my brain, I'm moving it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So then I just, okay, my hip goes mm-hmm. here, and then my knees go there. I drop down. I put that together. Mm-hmm. And then in practice is where I'm just fucked yeah because then i'm like okay i got this and then my foot just wants to go the opposite direction of what i my brain is saying yeah um and it really is and i think that the challenge for me and joanna Mm -hmm. probably more for me no joanna said similar stuff where it's like trying to yeah trying to make your body do like trying to remember yeah I'm turning left, so I put pressure on the inside of the right ski. Yeah, and and the only way Uh, I can think of me getting mm -hmm. good enough in a time frame that I, like, feel like, okay, this investment is Mm -hmm. worth it is if I go every weekend. Yeah. 
and I have to go that often just to get okay. Which I guess we're, Joanna and I are on that road because we do have the season passes, which is awesome. I forgot how dope it was to have a season pass. Yeah. Mm. That's my favorite shit. You just walk in like you own the place. Yeah. Nobody hassles you. You walk right up to the lift, zap yeah. your little thing, and you, you could ski two runs and then just leave. Yeah. And but, who cares? But it is it's more than that. It's a big it's a big sacrifice. Yeah. To it learn is. it and to invest time in it. And mm. to me, I'm I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I uh, the reality is am I ever gonna be really good at it? Absolutely not. Yeah. Because I don't have the time to invest. I in feel it. like if you can get passable, like you can make your way down a blue and have fun. But I guess then what, what I'm thinking is it opens up like a really fun vacation option. It does. That's kind of what I was thinking because there's really cool. But then there's things like, like ski destinations. There are. There's also cool golf destinations, and like both of us are like mm-hmm. he is not that far behind me in golf. No, I'm pretty good. He's pretty I good. Mean, he could actually outdrive me. Arguably, at this point. to play golf, all you need to be able to do is like drink Riding, in the sun. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and so, fucking drive a cart. It's kind of like <laughs> you yeah, need to know how to yell I mean, four and tell people they can play through. <laughs> no, that's I, yeah. all you need to know for fucking golf is you and just know how drunk to drive wear the cart. A great polo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you get some silly pants. Yeah. You act like uh, what's his name? I guess. I guess fucking, what I'm uh, saying is like, if we're both gonna be shit, guy? it's better for you to both be shitty at it. Or at the same level, because like, th- no offense, Paul, like I'm actually to quote my mom, I'm really fucking good at skiing. <laughs> and, and to quote me, I'm really fucking bad at skiing. <laughs> and and I don't the thing expect I realize, you though. to try to get to because even Bjorn, if you've been he skiing spent the for time, thirty years. No, there's about ten years that I didn't do it. So twenty years. So 20, but I spent the first Have you skied 20, like roughly a year, like once every year? The whole time I was in Minnesota, mm-hmm. I did not. The five years I lived in Minnesota, oh, I did okay. not ski once. I snow skated. So I don't know if that counts. No. Uh, I think. That no, counts as skateboarding. I skied. Nope. I didn't ski one time the whole time. I, I didn't even have my skis with me. Well, I, there's no they were point still skiing with my in mom. Minnesota. There's downhill, but it's dumb. Uh, and then <laughs> yeah. I lived in Vegas. I mm-hmm. went snowboarding once. Okay. Uh, and then, and then the first it wasn't till like three years of living here that I did like a weird trade. My friend did. I don't even remember what it was for. What I what he got, but I I um instead of paying him for the work, I um I taught his wife how to snowboard. Mm, okay. And then um. And then like a couple, and then in COVID, I bought ski bindings for my skis. Yeah, and, and then we went a couple again. of times. And then we went a couple times. In we COVID. went for like your birthday. Yeah, I think we did a couple that other things last year. Maybe we went for my birthday. I forget. But it's just, dude, but, it's just yeah. this weird thing of just like I don't know what I'm gonna do with this skill. It's like a weird, like, skill that I don't. I don't know. I like I like it enough that I want to keep going, and I think I think it will be like a fun. It's like a fun activity on a weekend, and it's also like a fun vacation thing. Yeah. Like, at some point, I'd like to do a couple of, like, trips to ski hills. Like I think it'll change if I have exotic kids. Exotic ones. Or when I have kids, I'll probably teach them how to ski. I oh, don't know yeah, if I could, yeah. I don't know if I could teach how to ski, but, like, I think that might No, you probably be... get them lessons, too, because that's... But, like, at least to start. Anyway, I didn't want to talk too much about skiing. No, that's fair, but... The I, part I that was weird good... to me was I was just like... I have this skill that's mm-hmm. just in my back pocket that I never use on a daily basis, but it's like, it's mm-hmm. innate. It's not even like, it's the same thing as you're describing. It's like, I can't teach it because to me, I'm just like, like to me, I just, the I last just think time, stop. And it's almost like hitting a brake on a car. Like yeah, to me, it's the last that. time that I had to think about it on the level that Paul and Joanna have to think about it. I was eight and there's no way I can even right. possibly remember that shit. Well, and you're, I, also the fe- other, you're also fearless at eight. Yeah. I am like, well, the I'm only other thing. So this high off the, the ground. The only other thing I was thinking about was and fucking flexible. bionicles. Yeah. <laughs> so like, there's no way I'm gonna get back into that. Yeah. yeah. You were thinking out by, about bionicles while they were telling you uh, about edge transitions and. Yeah. No, I didn't know the word edge transitions. I didn't either. I well, don't know. It was just no, like I pizza. I, I wasn't even that. pizza French fry. It was just I just could do it. I, I don't. No, no, it was pizza French fry for me because I was eight. I wasn't like little little. And I think it was even a one-on-one lesson that I got mm. to start. It was part of that whole ski program that they did. 
I remember my I didn't want to go. My mom like talked me into going, which is weird because she's always hated that I ski because she's like, you're going to get hurt and you're going to hit a tree. And I have. And, and it was fine. But like I've hit trees. Yeah. It's I mean, it's not really like don't hit a tree. But like, you know, Dude, no, there was, I there was some moments out. I went when I went skiing the one time this year, there were some moments where I was like, I went in the trees like, oh, this is fun. And then I like almost missed a turn. And I was like. Not for me. And yeah, I just like, got like, it. Oh, okay. I was like, all right, we're going to cruise out of the trees and I'm just going to go ski with my mom. <laughs> no, I am thinking like if Center Joanna and I, the la- we're going to try to go like lane. a couple times a month since nice. we've got the passes. Well, invite me. I would like to go again. Yeah. Once, yeah, but. for sure. It's fun. And night skiing is dope. It. I mean, but. I do like doing it, but I have to do it of not often because yeah. then I, if I do too often, then I'm going to start doing tricks and I'll get hurt. So yeah, well, I, I was just... never into tricks, so that's that's going to be fine for <laughs> yeah. me. Anyway, uh, Rodney Dangerfield, by the way, that's the guy whose name I was trying to think of like mm. five minutes ago, out of Caddyshack. That's yeah. who you have to be on the golf course. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because that's like the best golf course guy Dude, of all time in a movie. I, I guess the thing I like about golf is like I have no ambitions of winning anything i just want to be passable at, yeah. i want to be i think it's at. golf for you is probably like chess for me yeah where it's like if i was going to even come close to being competitive on any sort of level i would have had to start when i was three i want to i want to i want to go on a business i here's my dream i want to go like on a business thing where you're like making a deal a golf with a, business yeah trip? i don't know where you like, take like a with client. a banker yeah when i take a where client you, take, you go golfing and I with impress the him with a drive you yeah. know or like a really nice recovery shot from the woods and you're just i'm like, good at those you're <laughs> just like this specialty. recovery did you see that recovery right there <laughs> I want to. I That's wanna, what I specialize. I want to put it <laughs> three feet from the pin mm. out of a sand trap. That's my dream, and then and then nail the business deal, and then just be like, <laughs> and now you see how I just brought that. I just brought this uh, fucking par or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Golf is dumb. Anyway, just brought this par back from from fucking almost certain doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah. Now, do we have a deal? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's the level of golf. Is that how business works, Paul? You're into business. That's, yes. That's yeah. the level of golf I want to get to. Business where I do counts. some incredible recovery shot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't hear a word you guys said because I just keep thinking about nicotine. So mm. sorry about that. <laughs> I'm too busy going through my 9-11. I'm still going through my 9-11. <laughs> You're right still now. going through your 9-11. <laughs> no. You guys. I can tell. We're just you guys, a while and go, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. You did kill those gimlets like you were going through quick. something, yeah. It was it was delicious. It was too delicious. Yeah. All Dude, that we, lime juice. Dude, All right, let's uh let's Speaking talk about of these. business deals. Keep going. This is so what we got here is this is the We the Best. We the Best music. These are the um another one. Another one. There it is. Thanks for getting that drop in there. <laughs> Ooh, those look pretty. We the best. <laughs> so these are the Jordan Five, DJ Khaled. Oh shit! What's it say in the inside of that tongue? It just says one, keep going. This one says going, and, and that one, one says, says keep. keep. What's on the back of that one? Does it say we the best? No, on it that says one? Nike, Nike Air, Air on the back of this one. Um, so the, we got a a pink. Yeah. We got the classic um 3M on the tongue. 3M on the tongue. You got it. The color of Patrick from SpongeBob. Yep, over we got here. SpongeBob. <laughs> I can't do it. Still, I no, still can't do it. No, that sounded kind of like him. <laughs> Leather quality is decent. It's kind of soft. Seems like better mm. than average Jordan leather. It's it's just like your classic tumbled leather. Yeah. Um, in like this core. I want to call it coral. I would say coral pink is fair. What, it's like does a, it officially say it on the box? It looks like uh. It looks like the color of uh, fake fur that I got to tie flies to fish for bonefish. It says Chris, Crimson Bliss Leche Blue Sail. Yep, and then it looks like it's in a Leche Blue. That's so like milk blue. Leche mm. Blue. I guess that kind of looks like a, a little, whitish, like a silvery like a blue, pastelly blue. I suppose if you mix blue and white, you would end up with that color of blue. And then it's got like a quilted satin on the end. Yeah, yeah quilted, quilted satin, satin. which That's I'm kind of cool. Not that, a fan of. 
but that's fine. I don't know. The satin is nice. I have the satin in that those silver toe Jordans. It's kind of nice. Like it feels good when you slide your foot in. It does. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and I have it in the uh, patchwork threes. Mm-hmm. Dude, here's a thought that I had today. And I don't know why I'm just going to share it all of a sudden because I thought of it again. I kind of want to just get work. rid of like a lot of my sneakers. And I thought you just said buy that last threes. Week. Just oh, have you're just going to have threes. nothing but Jordan 3s? I was like, how kind of cool would that be? Maybe 3s and 90s. Those are, right now, those are my two those favorites. Those are your sneakers. two favorites. I do like a 5, I though. did convert you to the Jordan 3. You Because you shit on it for a while and said the 4s were the best and bought a bunch of those. No. What do you think of 4s um, compared they to 3s? They still hurt my feet. Uh, and they've hurt my feet the whole time. And 3s don't. And I've kind of, I'm starting to, maybe it's, maybe it's me approaching 40 mm-hmm. and being like, you know what? Comfort first fashion second and yeah but you know threes what? are still threes cool. are cool i think they look better than comfortable fours. and that's all that really matters yeah <laughs> and and uh end of list yeah uh one they're cool and b they're comfortable and uh though i do like fives these say we the best in the we clear the part best. where it's probably gonna oh down it. there i have not worn we these the once best. i got these oh, shit for Christmas slash Dropped. Paul got them and then just gave them for me to me for Christmas mm-hmm. I think but it's totally fine. Nobody liked them. They're what are they going for right now on on stock? Oh yeah, these Let's were kind of bricks look. though, weren't they? <clears throat> they kind of were bricks. These There's were been like a lot of bricks lately. These though? were like cement shoes. Why don't they? Why do we call them bricks? We should call them cement shoes. Like like the thing where they would kill well the old yeah how mobsters the kill. mobsters would kill people. <laughs> Cement shoes is what it should be called. So uh, size ten goes for two ten. Okay. Oh shit! So, so you yeah. save ten bucks. No plus no. shipping. No, isn't the app free shipping? Yeah. Yeah. So this, but this, but isn't this would free be. Shipping. Oh, so you save like twenty or thirty. Twenty bucks. or thirty dollars. But we did see these at what a bait deal. in Seattle. Oh, like, okay. Okay. They're and still... and and some like uh, a week later. <laughs> and they're also nine. I think we talked about it last episode. They're ninety nine dollars. Like two weeks ago at some uh, employee store or outlets at oh, the outlets okay. these were at the outlets so these these kind of tanked at the box office these were sort of the um uh what's a movie that just recently <laughs> tanked i because most movies this most year most movies honestly. anything that came out this year <laughs> yeah uh, anything that they were <laughs> expecting to succeed at the theater other than like the top theater. gun Right. Well, didn't Top no, Gun? No, dude. Top Gun, I don't think did well. Was Top Gun a, a dude? Top, Top Gun was subsidized by the government, so of course it's gonna make money. Yeah, exactly. It was like paid for by the Navy. It was a giant ad to be like, join the Navy. We really need recruits because we're not be, getting any of these. It seems like the Air Force said it was airplanes. Dude, that's they they reference it in the movie. You should see Top Gun. Oh, it's in the Navy. <clears throat> the they're Navy. the Navy. The Navy. They're the Navy. But the Navy on... does boats. Yeah, but they fly their, they fly planes, their planes off, off the boats. boats. Oh, they Remember? do Remember? Aircraft indeed. carriers. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And there is some confusion because the Air Force the is USS just a totally different Ronald Reagan. division. And when you fly, but I when know. you fly a plane <laughs> off a boat, it's still the Navy. Mm. They're like the Air Navy. Wow. There's like the, the wet Navy, which is the SEALs. And then there's the dry Navy, which is the airplane Navy. The airplane <laughs> Navy. <laughs> The you plane know, navy. This sounds like bureaucracy to me. Um, this is a pain in the ass. This, there's too many people doing. I, I love that not the, enough. I love that that movie came up because yeah. we watched it recently. Is it good, dude? I liked it. It's everything you want it to be in yeah. a. It's a, a, It's literally the best Mission Impossible. <laughs> it's the best Mission Impossible yeah. movie I've ever seen. Mission Impossible's nice. <laughs> I need to watch it. I I kept I I kept thinking about we were gonna try to go and see it at like a theater or at like a drive-in or something. Mm-hmm. But just like we didn't do it. It's a lot of practical effects. So there's a lot of like seasickness inducing. Like there is just so much. And it's tense the whole time because mm. they do a really good job. It's great. Okay. It, but it's a fucking movie to the most movie. It, it's not. It's just like it's raw, raw. They literally don't even say who. They just say the enemy. Like you have no idea. Like there's no country. Okay. So it's like. <laughs> you it's have like no idea. It's like the PC version. <laughs> yeah. Because probably the original Top Gun. What, was he fighting the Russians or I something? No the commies? Well, I'm sure. It was in the, the 80s, communists. right? It's like yeah. the, was it the yeah. 80s or the 90s? 80s. 80s. Yeah. That's the commies. 
like yeah. whatever. Just call like, them the commies. Yeah, like yeah. it was. We like, could honestly still call them the damn commies. <laughs> Why not? Probably. We should just call them the Russians. <laughs> the Aruskis is that the Aruskis? I think some see? people call them that. Yeah. You, that goddamn thing was 120 bucks. This pencil. Fucking Apple. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll show so you how it works. It actually is pretty cool, but still, 120 dollars for a stupid fucking pencil. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Shout out so, to Apple. So Paul made a great joke that just got got buried. So I'm going to bring it back. Yeah, it's the best Mission Impossible movie. Yeah, have you seen a Mission Impossible movie? I think I've seen one. Okay, so, so I've probably it's like seen all of them there's right? like this mission that's bum, totally bum, impossible. Bum, bum, you have bum, to yeah, yeah. Bum, bum, they have bum, to do bum. some crazy. You have shit. to fly over the ground only eight yeah. point seven. And feet. so it's that eight point seven <laughs> feet. It's that, but with planes. Wait, he I've, said point seven. That doesn't really work with the standard system. I know. How they, are we going to do they it? Keep having to lower the the like ceiling of like how low they can fly Mm. it's like but at the end of the day i don't know it's entertaining yeah yeah i love movies like that i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm I'm a dumb guy i don't i'm gonna say i don't need a fucking complicated this is i don't want a complicated this is a thing that like i hated if what we thought was gonna happen happened it would be a spoiler but it's not oh because you think it is they put a twist in there but it's not it's not even a twist okay dude tom cruise lives to the end and i thought he was gonna die i thought he should have died he I no, died. it's not a, it's not a, he it's not a. Died. I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything. No, because it's like, no, he lives to the end. Oh, yeah. fucking course he did. Because yeah. if they had, a, if they gave him a Tom script, cost across, he's like, oh, I die. No, not doing it. Yeah, he's gonna be I'm like, I'm gonna what? live at sixty and drive a fucking airplane. Yeah, <laughs> better than all these sixteen-year-olds. Yeah, <laughs> or whatever. hundred percent. He's like, yeah, and he. <laughs> Any movie where he's going to die or have to reveal his true height. Like, there's <laughs> right? no... Or yeah. his true sexuality. Yeah. I was going to say... <laughs> Those three you know are off limits. You know what? I don't think we're going to get another Tom Cruise. And here's why. Why? Because... People are more okay with their because sexuality. Men, because gay men just come out of the closet. Gay men can just For the most part, it's pretty chill. <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not gay. I'm going to scale this mountain. <laughs> like, uh, to so prove that I'm not gay, gay. I'm going to jump off this mountain on a dirt bike a thousand times. Would a gay man do that? Would exactly. a gay man? So what I'm hearing is the toxic masculinity needs to come back if we're gonna have good movies oh yes. yeah 100%. yeah yeah 100 oh, percent. the it. liberals the goddamn <laughs> yeah. liberals and commies are I killing know. movies i know all these gay guys okay with their sexuality okay. <laughs> just like nope i don't need yeah. to jump out of an airplane i'm just gay yeah <laughs> that's but to it be we honest, need more sad <laughs> to be honest at the end of the day about tom cruise she is a <laughs> 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 Tom Cruise. I know. Uh, but dude, I watched a whole documentary yeah. about his latest. His, uh, his, I watched, and when I say documentary, I mean a like 20 minute YouTube video. You mean you went downtown to the Church of Scientology yeah, 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 yeah. and met dude. him in person? Oh, totally. That's where he hangs out. Uh, right? I just want to be like, Tom, just come out. It's okay, baby. <laughs> it's okay, boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to jump out of any more airplanes. You can just suck a dick. <laughs> what, if he, what if he likes jumping out of airplanes and he's afraid <laughs> that if he comes out, then people are going to be like, but why do you even need to jump out of airplanes? Dude, you're just gay. You're gay yeah, now. Just it's be like, gay. But he could, we need to let Tom Cruise know that he can still jump out of airplanes yes. while gay. And suck a dick at and the same suck time. suck a dick. It's okay. That actually <laughs> sounds like a more extreme sport. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot more moving pieces on that one. You have to coordinate I two just, people, and that's a way smaller target than I was, just like dude, holding on. Yeah. I was watching this to, thing. It, you have 14.5 seconds to come before the bomb yeah. <laughs> before the goes off. <laughs> oh, you man. gotta make this guy come if, <laughs> any way possible. If you can manage to not loot you teeth <laughs> during free fall <laughs> holy shit that's you're gonna top. save the world that's that's the best He's you like, can do i'm up for the mission yeah that now that's a mission impossible right challenge there. challenge accepted <laughs> oh my god only if i have to run to the dick <laughs> dude there's a whole thing about yeah. tom cruise running in movies i don't know if you know about that does he run fast he runs in every movie it's like 
must be in his rider or something that like I'm gonna run and there's like all these like subreddits about like how his running style changed from like a certain era to another era mm, where it's like, like he oh, got older. He clearly got some training because now oh. he runs with an open palm versus a closed palm, which he did. There's like <laughs> there's like a point in which you can see where he got his training in um, running, and he runs in every movie, and the dude is with like, an open hand. Is that the correct way to run? Yes. That's Holy the shit! Way. I've been fucking it up. Forever. I know. And he runs in every movie, hand. and and there's like all these stats on like what they think he can like what he could run like a mile in. And what can, dude, there's it's like I went down this weird rabbit hole of just like what this is a thing. Oh, there's a subreddit about, mm-hmm. and there's like professional runners like chiming in <laughs> on it. <laughs> It's amazing. You know what? I love where we live at this point. Oh yeah, I no, love that. It's really fun. It's really fun to go on Reddit and have somebody be like, "I'm a, I'm a this. I'm a professional." Let runner. me tell you how this guy's fucking up. <laughs> that's that's kind of great. Reddit's awesome. It it kind of right. is. So these shoes. Let's yes. get back to these. Let's get back to these. Anything else we need to say about these? I mean, dude, I was bummed that they were bricks because. A got them, <laughs> B, yeah. Because we got these, uh, like, he got these off the drop, and then like he he told me, and then like an hour later, I looked at the app, and it was still available. Oh, uh, like damn it! That's the biggest bummer is when you're excited <laughs> about one, and then you look, and you could have got it like days later, and you're just like, God damn it! Well, like it's it just makes you feel alone. It does, but here's the thing: it's such I an think, isolating feeling. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that I, you know what? I think with these, I'm excited to start wearing these. Yeah, a lot. I like this color. Just based. Let's just go. I'm just gonna go color mm-hmm. hype removed. Well, color. I you like can remove it. the hype because yeah, other people did is that none. for you because <laughs> there is none. So hype removed. Yeah. Thank you, Nick, for clarifying that for me. Yeah. Um, I want to blow the back out on these. Uh, is what. Uh, yeah, that's my plan. I want to wear these. I've been wanting to wear them for a while, but I've been keeping them clean till we do the episode. Yeah. Um, also, because it's winter and those will be dirty instantly. And yeah. those are more of like a spring. Dude, that's a spring shoe. Spring. Yesterday? Yeah, it looks like Easter. Okay, to I be got honest, it, I that'll got it go Miami good. all year round. Yeah. Oh, God. I know. It's like he's in my... Okay, so we talked about how like this is a dumb color to release when they released it, right? Yeah. I think we talked about this last week. Like it's yeah. it's a stupid color. That was one of the things for going most of the it. country. Yeah. But in Miami, it's always like, summer. Yeah. yeah. So I might swap these out with these black laces. I like the blue laces. These I blue? was gonna go blue. If you I was would gonna... go blue. You see, I I'm, I'm thinking these black ones because it came with black, um, white. See, and I would do white. And blue. Black. I would go black or blue, but I would probably go blue. But I could see black being cool. I, because it's it's just touching on this one mm-hmm. part, this one part, black and would I pop think the most. I think black would really bring this whole sneaker mm-hmm. together because it's also the Jordan, yeah. the Jumpman is black. This weird heel tab part is yeah, and that's it. The coral just kind of blends. I almost want to like try and see if I can put these in another one of my sneakers and see if it like does something. I don't know, mm-hmm. does something. Dude, I gotta say th- though, like kind of to what we were just saying, Paul was wearing my um my shadows yesterday, mm-hmm. the Jordan one shadows. He's yeah, like, you don't wear these enough, and I was like, because I hate the highs, and you know, fight me, whatever, <laughs> internet. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just hurt my feet. That's yeah. it. It's just painful. I don't How care do about they the feel height on your part. Feet? You go to one. They fell fine. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> but he jumped over a puddle mm-hmm. and like did the thing where you're just like jumping mm-hmm. and you land, and this foot's fine. But this foot and the entire pant leg, it's not fine. Mm, it just right got in the puddle. Splash oh. with like black, uh, I don't gross know, puddle mud. Gross uh, decaying leaf. Oh, mud. organic matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just gross. Just, just a and he felt compost. really bad. And I was like, babe, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. They're sneakers. It's all right. Yeah, I was like, I'll do anything to make it up. He goes, quit smoking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you he, lost that one. Yeah, yeah and I lost that one. Yeah, <laughs> so he's still on it. <laughs> I love that. But um, yeah, I think you need to us? start speaking yeah. in DJ Khaledisms whenever you wear. When these, I wear though. these, you just well, need to work like Khaled, dude. Mm-hmm. Statements. I I kind of fell off on Khaled for a minute, and then I I I still don't like follow him on social media. But it's just like, yeah, it makes sense that he. I wanna I wanna see the, I wanna read the um the DJ Khaled self help book. 
I feel like he's, wait, is that a real thing? I don't think it is, but it needs to be. Yeah, it's like a thing that he hasn't done yet, but he needs. He's to a do. strange person because he doesn't like. I I need to know. Do you know if he makes the beats? I don't think he makes those beats because there are like other Could producers' you? tags in his newest album. I think he literally <laughs> the one that his son made or whatever. No, <laughs> Have like you seen that. Uh, like I think. I think there was like a Tay Keith beat in there or something or like a. It looks like the majority of his work is done by somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. He literally just curates people. He like makes other people work together. So he yeah. doesn't produce, but organizes, directs and promotes his songs. Okay. So he's like a manager. Yeah. Yeah. He's like his own hype man. He's, he's a What a manager. fucking bullshit job if there ever was one. This you guy know, just he, sits there and tells other people to do things. You say bullshit. Yeah. I say uh, it's it, he is. He's ex- a brand manager. He's, exactly, he's a content manager. Yeah. He's a content manager. He's exactly what's going on right now with everything. Yeah. He's he's like he's like the bullshit job that is like. It's it's like the most bullshit job you could have. Wait, he works remote. It's like for he sure. He does work remote, but he <laughs> he himself produces nothing. And other people do the real work and he just kind of says th- his own name. Right. Do you think everyone kind of knew that? And that's why these didn't go? I think crazy? that's part of it. I really think DJ I think Khaled is like I he's agree. a person whose name everyone knows. But I've never heard anyone mention him as anything other than like a joke of a person. Yeah. Like I've heard people make fun of the fact that he came out and said he like wouldn't like go down on his girl, <laughs> which was ridiculous and rude. Wait, really? Um, yeah, he he like publicly stated that. Wait, did somebody ask him or was he like, "Hey, I've got a fun fact." I would go ahead and <laughs> fun fact. I don't know the the specifics. <laughs> I would guess he offered that information okay. unprompted cuz it's funnier. A little, little thing about me. Yeah, just uh <laughs> FYI. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, everybody that I know I won't touch no him, cooter. Yeah, I I think that's <laughs> how he said it. Anything but my D. <laughs> yep, that's uh that those were his words that's exactly. His word. Um but yeah, like there was that and then there's like yeah just the fact that all he does in any of his songs is dj khaled i mean we the best it was another one i mean it really was like keep all, going <laughs> we we used to he he's like he is he should just write us he should just write a self-help book honestly yeah that's actually just, that's that's kind of the trajectory of someone who's done actually pretty much nothing though, ever the that's thing kind is, of their Career he come trajectory. out with a jewelry line. What it, but th- here's Ooh, the thing. He could do that. Here's the thing. I mean, he'd have to ghostwrite it, first of all. But second yeah. of all, like, what else is he going to say? He just is. Right. He's forward just, by DJ forward Khaled. <laughs> and it'll be like, keep going. <laughs> keep going. <laughs> Actually, that's a good Chapter self-help. Two. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole book is just you keep the, going. We the best. We're the best. Here's five reasons why we the best. See, he doesn't want to. That's revealing his hand. He's he's just like because he's not gonna go five reasons why we the best <laughs> you know like yeah. he doesn't have them he's just it's just I would I would like empty. to know I want to read that book but I don't think it's ever gonna exist I'd like because to read he doesn't a biography by like somebody who actually studied this man <laughs> I know because he had to have done something at some point I don't I feel like you can't have a whole career of saying your own name. I feel like he just was really good at he, he's like the he's like the party promoter. I was this guy and I was always worried that I was going to just become nothing but that guy. Yeah. But I was always like like in high school, yeah. all my friends, they'd call me up or they'd either call me mm-hmm. or because uh, I did go to high school in the early 2000s. Yeah. So they um, would call and then you'd have to tell your parents to get off the Internet. Yeah. 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 We have to get out and tell my sister to get off the internet yeah. so that I could receive the call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I didn't have, or if it was my weekend with the cell phone. Mm, with the cell phone? <laughs> the cell phone, because my sister and I um, yeah. would, would share it. And but so you really, take a break from playing Snake on yeah, the Nokia. Yeah, take a break from ta- <laughs> yeah. playing Snake on our, on our Kira Sarah. Oh, Kyo Sarah. <laughs> Kira Sarah. Oh, that's... We didn't even have an Ikea or no, no, Nokia, nope. dude. Yeah, that's a. That's... That was some classy shit. <laughs> the Kyo Sarah. Yeah, um, the Kyocera was entry level. <laughs> the 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 Nokia was really dude. But I was, that that, was I was that dude. I was that DJ Khaled of my group. Like I was the one that was like organizing weird shit for us to do mm. on like a Friday night. I'd be like, all right, we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this, and I'd always come up with some cool yeah like things to do 
or whatever. But like, I wasn't like putting my name in there. Just be like, all right, everyone, Bjorn RG, we the best. <laughs> like, let's get this party started. <laughs> like, that was your mistake. You should have branded I all your parties. Brand. I didn't brand at all. Yeah. I just threw them. You'd be like, this great time that you had that other people worked <laughs> really hard on. You know who invited you to it? Fucking me. <laughs> I <didn't. laughs> I, yeah. I think that this I'm is I'm going to start doing that. Anytime I invite people to anything, I'll just be like, we're about to have a great time. <laughs> Nick Scalzone. Dude, it's it's totally like... I mean, I wish it. Well, I wish there was more depth to it, but I really think that there's not at all. I really believe. Yeah, I don't, I think I that's can't. why no one respects DJ Khaled, and that's why that's these probably bricked. why these bricked. Because I think people were like, "Why would I like? I like the music, and I'll listen to it on Spotify and give them fucking point zero 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 three <laughs> cents. Like, I don't give a shit about that. But like, I don't think I'm gonna spend two hundred dollars unless people genuinely like the colorway and i feel like it's such a polarizing colorway it is like a lot of people are just like fucking coral pink this is one of those where it looks like a women's drop i own nothing that those would go with that's my style Mm. it's just not my style and i i own nothing in coral pink i'm starting to own things in these colors here's what you need to do is you need to go to cabela's this looks and get like pink camo this looks that like you just came out in the early 90s <laughs> like, and you moved to Miami <laughs> oh, to live right. your gay life. <laughs> like that's what this looks like. The, you, no, this looks like... This <laughs> For more looks, gay content. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, Do we have that? Gay! <laughs> this looks like what fucking uh, Nick Swardson's character in Reno 911 would wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like the guy who's like a cartoon of gay back when that was like a thing that was acceptable to do in TV shows. <laughs> like that kind of looks somewhat like who would wear this? It's like so pink. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you're right. It does kind of look like a women's drop. It looks like a women's drop. It also like- would make way more sense in Miami, where people like this goes with shorts. You don't wear this colorway with pants. Yeah, no. Like uh, white pants, maybe. I feel like this linen, is a white, a linen, white li- pants. A linen suit <laughs> for linen some reason. Suit. DJ Khaled would wear that with a fucking linen suit. Tan, tan pants would look good with that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, tan and pink. Okay. It would literally look like a bonefish fly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a shrimp. Like you a fly like a that you tied that looks like a shrimp for that. fishing in the Bahamas. Yeah, this is a sneaker yeah. from a dude that's lived in Florida for too long. <laughs> I bought craft fur in that color when Dad and I were going to the Bahamas to tie flies with. That's what I own in that color. I've tied San Juan worms in that color that work good when the water's muddy. Mm. Okay. Just in case you need to know. There's a lot of Tommy Bahama shirts that go with this. A hundred percent, dude. If you lived in Key West, you would never take those off. <laughs> You fucking just be hammered <laughs> all the time on a beach wearing those. And I that would be it. a great fucking life. Honestly, that sounds great. It would. You would just kind of be like Burt Kreischer, I feel like. Mm. Burt Kreischer would rep those in Florida. Oh, 100%. Oh, oh 100%. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made the decision to not, and then I regretted it. No, nah, you gotta oh, go in on that. Oh, this was a fun episode. Yeah. I think that's. I think we're good. I feel good about yeah, that. Yeah, I think so. I think uh we probably wrap it up there paul do you have anything you wanted to add oh yeah um sorry i've i just got word on a new sponsor um (laughs) so uh we're sponsoring dj Khaled's new book we the best (laughs) (laughs) at what read to find out nobody really knows so thanks dj Khaled, and uh keep going keep going going. (laughs) (laughs) it's the most generic yeah advice ever oh my god and then you want to take us out this this episode has been another one this episode has been another one <laughs> <laughs> and also i mean <laughs> to be honest <laughs> gay <laughs> <laughs> but we the best <laughs> but we the best <laughs> <laughs> <All right. I'm> <laughs>